We have reached the final match for two sides, Pacific FC and Atletico Ottawa. It is their final time here at IG Field before they go their separate ways and head to Langford, British Columbia and our nation's capital, respectively. One final chance to pick up some points. For Dribbling into danger, turned over. Here is Malcolm Shaw, top of the box, and an early goal for Atletico Ottawa. Malcolm Shaw forces a mistake, pounces on the loose ball, and puts it past Nolan Worth. It is his second goal of the season. The first of the game comes just one minute into the match, and a red-hot start for the men in red and white. Played his NCAA football with the Michigan Wolverines. Now calls Pacific FC home. Turned over once again. Edge of the attacking third, Nunez, just before the top of the box. Right-footed try, sailing high. Verhoeven and Soto again, not on the same page. Verhoeven able to keep it in, forward. Tevin Shaw bounces it in front of McNaughton. Malcolm Shaw trying to chase it down. Falls for him again, Caden Chung defending. Oh my goodness, it's Malcolm Shaw again! Right place, right time, great finish. Two goals inside of 15 minutes for Malcolm Isaiah Shaw. And Atletico Ottawa running away with this one early. A poacher's goal waiting for mistakes. I don't think Atletico Ottawa could have asked for a better start. And again, Pacific looking for a quick answer. Falls in the box, it's blocked. Polisi, a golden opportunity. Josh Hurd headed on. Alwiro could not find the target. Lucas has some space. Near side finds Chung. Busto stripping towards the middle. Chung spinning. Gets around Acosta. Fakes across. This time it's sent in. This time it's headed on. He stands over the 20-year-old from Malaga. Cross played in, goes short, redirected Tevin Shaw. Sprawling out was Nolan Worth, otherwise this is a 3-0 game. Now down to the near side, touchline, Chung. Into the attacking third, once again our Pacific. Bustos returns the pass, Chung. Back up top for Bustos. Fancy footwork, nutmeg, Polisi back for Bustos. Taken down and pointing to the spot. This is a game-changing moment. Dylan Pauli trying to keep Alejandro Diaz off the board. Can Pacific cut the lead in half? Yes, they can! Money from the spot, Alejandro Diaz. Well, admittedly, the first half of Halifax and Edmonton, if you've been with us for both, feels a little bit different. Then an action-packed first 35 minutes. Pacific knocking at the door again, heard top of the box, Diaz, left-footed one time. Bustos, left foot, headed on and into the back of the net. Diaz has tied it up off the corner kick. Two braces, one from Shaw to start the scoring. And the last two from Diaz, both from set pieces. McNaughton gets ahead to it, sits down for Dixon. Nunez came out to challenge, gave up his position. Now Bustos, couple of touches on the left foot. Marco Bustos punched off the post. Diaz! It's just the second hat trick in CPL history. Three unanswered from Pacific, three from Alejandro Diaz. And PFC takes the lead. Aside from the first quarter of an hour of the game, he's got his wall set up, it's just three. Manella lifts it over the top, Ferdinand gets ahead to it. Does it touch a Pacific player on the way? No. Jabapur, little skip cross. Above Soto will fall for Dixon, Bustos. One more, Chung Dos Santos started a run. He's on the ball, the flag has stayed down, looking for Campbell, left foot, and there is the goal for Taryn Campbell! 
Pacific in dreamland. They've put up four on Atletico Ottawa. And Taryn Campbell, welcome back to the scoring column. It's been a eventful match the final 20 minutes or so starting to taper off as Alejandro Diaz had a hat trick just the second in the history of the Canadian Premier League putting himself in position for the game winning goal Taron Campbell his first goal since the end of the island games and it was the battle of the assistant coaches in the end James Merriman now perfect two wins in his time in charge for Pacific